Hey, what's up guys, how are you all? If you are a YouTuber like me, you must have seen a pop-up message from YouTube or you might have received a mail from YouTube stating that they are going to change the terms of service from December 10, 2019 onwards. Let us know what are these terms and services YouTube is going to bring new into the system. If you visit YouTube today, you will see a pop-up window alerting you that the platform's terms of service will be updated on December 10th, 2019. The new terms do not change the way YouTube treats you info and YouTube isn't changing how it uses creators content, but it is clarifying a few of its policies. So YouTube is now alerting its users on mobile and the web about changes to its terms of services which come into the effect next month that is from 10th December 2019. If you open the YouTube app anytime soon, you will see this banner at the very top of the page with the option to dwell more into the finer details of what the changes entitle, entail for you as a user. Google says that the new YouTube terms of services are applicable from December 2010. The changes include guidelines for how you may use the service, the content being published, the rights that you may grant for the content that you publish and removal of content by YouTube among other things. YouTube reserves the right to monitor and flag content that may not be fit for consumption by others. You are legally responsible for the content you submit to the service. According to this, whatever the content you upload, you are legally responsible for the content you upload in the YouTube. It further says that we may use automated systems that analyze your content to help detect infringement and abuse including spam and malware, says YouTube. There has been a debate recently involving a few apps and web-based services about the ownership of content that is uploaded and published on those platforms. When you upload a video on YouTube, do you own the rights? Who owns the right? So who owns the content after it is published? You retain ownership rights in your content. However, we do require you to grant certain rights to YouTube and other users of the service as described below, says the new YouTube Terms of Service. However. It isn't that simple, is it ever? By providing content to the service, that means once you upload a video in YouTube, you grant to YouTube a worldwide, non-exclusive, royalty-free, transferable, sub-licensable license to use that content, including to reproduce, distribute, prepare derivative works, display and platforms. YouTube may only use the content in connection with the service and YouTubers. YouTube's business, including for the purpose of promoting and redistributing part or all of the service, says the new terms of service document. The new YouTube terms of service will be applicable to all users across all platforms from December 10, 2019. So now who is the service provider? Your service provider is now Google LLC. We have added a link to the policy safety and copyright policies and our under advertising on YouTube policies which all form part of the agreement. These are the policies that underpin our community guidelines and we wanted to make sure to call out these details to you upfront in your term. The key features of the terms of services they are updating from 10th December 2019. First one is who can use these services. This service can be used by anybody with some limitations. First one age requirements. So YouTube has stated the specific age requirements for every country reflecting the Google wide policies. So the age requirements according to YouTube, we have stated the specific age requirements for your country reflecting our Google wide policies and included a notice that if you are a minor in your country, you must always have your parent or guardian's permission before using the service. That means if you are under 13 years of age, you are not directly allowed to upload the content into the YouTube. You have to take the parental permission to upload in content into the YouTube. Second key point is about our information. So according to the YouTube terms of service policy, your information, they say that we haven't made any changes to the way we treat your information. You can read about our privacy practices by reviving the privacy policy and YouTube kids provide notice. So there is no change in the how the YouTube process our information. But now what is the restrictions? According to the YouTube new policy in the restrictions, uh, your content and conduct. This section applies the, to users to who provide content to the service. That means whoever uploads videos in YouTube, they are here called content providers. 
it defines the scope of the permissions that you grant by uploading your content and includes your agreement not to upload anything that infringes on anyone else's right that means you are indirectly giving a license to youtube to use your content we have included a link to the tools you will need to remove your content as well as a clear description about why we might need to take down content and how to appeal removals next one most important key factor account suspension and termination this section explains how you and youtube may terminate this relationship now termination according to this policy youtube terms now include more details about when we might need to terminate our agreement with bad actors we provide a greater commitment to give notice when we take such action and what you can do to appeal if you think we have got it wrong we have also added instructions for you if you decide you no longer want to the use the service that means if youtube wants to terminate your youtube license they'll send a notification to you prior to terminating your account the google company is promising to be more transparent about why we might need to make changes to the service and provided a commitment to give you notice when those changes might affect you YouTube has clarified the content license you grant us to make it easier to understand but it is not asking for additional permissions and there is no difference in how we are using your content meanwhile there are more details about account suspension and termination YouTube wrote the terms also state that YouTube may automatically analyze content to detect abuse and keep the platform safe the terms of service now state the specific age requirement for your country in the us or in india you must be at least 13 years old to use the service otherwise it's youtube kids for you previously youtube's age agreement was buried towards the bottom of its terms which told kids under 13 there are lots of other great websites for you talk to your parents about what sites are appropriate for you Thanks to the new terms, YouTube will no longer have the rights to use your comments forever. There is also more information about how to remove content and a description of why you might need to remove content. YouTube says it will be better about giving notice when it terminates its agreement with bad actors and it has added instructions for how to appeal takedowns and terminations. Overall, the new YouTube terms of service will be appreciable to all users across all platforms from December 10, 2019 onwards. Whoever has received this kind of uh, pop-up messages, review your information and th thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, please subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye. Take care.